Welcome to Snowmobile Sessions Live. Platform. We're the number one destination to learn about snowmobiling, network with other sledders, and have an awesome time doing it. We'll meet other snowmobilers that share your passion and show your fan photos along the way. Snowmobile Sessions Live. Enjoy the ride. It's a journey. This episode of Snowmobile Sessions is brought to you by stuff like this. Get your COVID mask there with your favorite snowmobile brand printed right on them. Stufflikethis.ca slash masks. Go there now. Well, actually, go there after the broadcast. Wait till the broadcast is done and then go there. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good, buddy. Good, good man. Good to be here. That's good. Oh, rough day. <laughs> Had a crack of cold one. Yeah. Off day, exactly. I was gonna call this uh, the BS episode. Yeah, oh, beer, yeah. beers, and snowmobiles. There the you only, go. Uh, the only, the only BS you'll need. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Guess what else, Rich? What's up, buddy? Present. Got a present today. Ooh, what's in there, pal? Oh, you got your permit. Permit. Ah, I, so I did mine because I nice. So they're red this year. Yeah, they're red. I, so I filled mine out today because I, I got my serial number. So because I bought the permit thing. Oh, nice. What's that? Little. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah. I think I quoted these and I didn't even get the job. Well, but I, I don't know if I enough? told you. I don't know if I told you, this, Gary, but I used to do the OFSC permits for years. Those ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. With the void tent yeah. proof, my I so. did it for years. And then it got to the point with when it turned to the government looking after it because I used to do it when it was it was straight to the OFSC, and then once yeah. it went to the government, it's like you know what I'm not bidding on this anymore because you know what the government's like to deal with. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, lowest lowest bidder. It wasn't yep. an iceberg that sank the Titanic, <laughs> but uh, th this year I did the I paid the extra ten bucks for the um, trackable shipping because I had oh. some issues last year where uh, yeah the the permits were lost in transit you know kind of thing so oh no ways and did well, obviously but, they sent you more another ones right replacing them or did you end up getting the original ones no well I, they actually ended up coming i they the, the the plan that they told me to do is they said you have to wait till or sorry you have to report them stolen with the police and then you have to uh reorder them and Jeez. it's like okay well there isn't and then well, there's more money and 15 bucks to reorder them, but then you pay for the priority shipping, so 25 bucks each permit. And it was like, you know what? I was so, I was kind of upset about the whole deal. And then I just went, I'll wait. And sure enough, they showed up. And I seen online there was a couple other people that actually got theirs later than what they expected as well. So it all worked yeah. out in the end. I was happy. Good. I got Very on good. the trails, so and then this year it was like, and that's the thing the OFSC said and makes sense is you know what if you want to make sure you get them pay for the tracking you know, so yeah it's kind of uh, defeats the first but but you know what I get it I, I get it yeah yeah I just literally yeah. filled mine out today because like I said because you need the serial number right so I, I deleted my old sled and added yeah. a new one on and then uh, I got the serial number so then I was able to order it so we'll see how long it takes so yeah they say but, buy a gift card if you want to. You know, that's what you, I did. You, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. And, that's and good. I converted so. over, and then uh, I got the email today saying Polaris telling me my sh my sled shipped, even though it's at the dealer already. <laughs> I've heard that's they've had some issues with that, where the shipping yeah. notifications aren't going out at the right time. Yeah, well, literally, it's it it said it was shipped uh, uh, last Sunday from yeah. Polaris, so October, oh, wow. no, the Saturday, the tenth, and then my dealer called me this Friday and said it's in, so it's like, oh, right on, good. Yeah. And then I got the email today that it was shipped. <laughs> that's great. Well, we got a lot of good fan mail this last week. I really Very appreciate good. it, you guys. You guys make me really happy <laughs> every day. None from Kim this week, though. Like, no, I don't know. Never have sleds to send in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. But uh, I will, I will say, hold on, you guys are falling all over the place here. It's like we're drunk. I will already. say, I know. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I will say that if ever, anybody's, I'm skinny for some reason today. I think my camera's got some goofy setting going on here, but I've lost, I'm really narrow. <laughs> you are. But anyway, the um, 
I will say if you haven't already checked it out, uh, Bobby's got a great video on the on his channel, the Rev Rider 550, and uh, he's him and his dad picked up a new trailer, and they I go can't. around shopping. You get to see some skeletons in the parking lot. <laughs> Just in time for Halloween, you know. <laughs> that was a good video, Bobby. That was a good yeah, it was, a, it was an awesome, awesome experience. You know, we almost just went to the. Uh, they have like a little shop where you can go in and order a trailer, and they can do service, but they don't build them. And we went there first originally, and they were uh, closed. So then we ended up going to the uh, manufacturing center, and so happy we went to be able to see them being built and look at all the different models, walk through them, and all that. So it worked out great. I love it when your dad was pushing down on the back of that one and it's going, (laughs) and I I just imagine the guys inside the shop going, no, he just tack welded that. He's going to bust the tongue off. (laughs) I'm thinking the same thing. He's like, I want to see how light it is. I'm like, don't touch it. What are you doing? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So do they, do they know who you were in there or did they like, are you a nobody to them or what? Like, uh, yeah, are they... I, I was a nobody to them, but they were, uh, they were pretty cool with me filming, which I thought I appreciated that. They didn't give me a hard time about walking around with a camera. So that's all that nice. matters to no, me. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. I also got uh, my buddy, Mike Cardi. He's been looking for a sled since his 1200 caught on fire. So mm-hmm. I actually went and, and helped them buy one last week, which oh, uh, nice. I'll, I'll try. Yeah, wait, Rich, this is a sled you are gonna like. Wait, oh, it, nice. wait till you see the, wait till you see the specs on this. Hopefully, I can pull it up. I I didn't get a chance to get to that. I've just been swamped today, so hopefully I can pull up some. I'll be able to pull up something on it. Where did sure, he get? So. Did he get it from a dealer or was it private sale? No, sure. no, he bought it used, but you'll. Uh, it's there wasn't a dime spared on this sucker. So anyway, I got another nice. guy coming on the stream here. He's uh, Mike Eisenberg, right there. Now, I buddy, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna bring you on, but then I seen your background and I went, <laughs> "Good lord!" It's another another metal behind me. Yeah, nice, nice. nice. So, where, what's what's new in your world, Mike? I'm patiently waiting for uh, for my new sled. Patiently. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got some pictures to share, uh, so that's why I thought I'd bring you up on screen and. And uh, we'll have a look at the fan mail. It's fan mail time. We're going to get a theme song for the fan mail, too. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. But here, I'm actually going to... I think I've streamlined it a bit to make it better. But you just got to bear with me. You guys talk about... Tell me a bit about what you're doing here. Mike sent me a ton of photos. So... (laughs) Nice. What kind of sled did you order, Mike? Uh, I've got a 2021 XRS Renegade 850. Ooh, coming nice. in uh, yellow and black, so I'm pretty mm-hmm. excited. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Jesse can relate to that, that's for sure. Yeah. We're quick. <laughs> He's still waiting for his. <laughs> yeah. um, what what track did you end up getting on it? Uh, this, just the standard 125 uh, yeah. rip draw. Nice. So I actually just, uh, Jesse was guiding me with some stud uh, yeah. recommendations yesterday, so I picked awesome. up a bunch of studs from Royal, so we're just getting all the stuff ready to go. Very cool. Uh, we're ready for the season. Sweet. Did you get the standard gauge or did you get the GPS one? No, I got the the seven point eight, uh, like the the bigger gauge. Awesome. Nice. Both nice. of my machine. Yeah, company. they are very similar. Yeah. Because <laughs> my last one um, had the adjustment package and, and all that stuff on it, and this year I just kind of opted to leave that stuff off. Yeah, I just found that I wasn't using it as much as I thought I would. So my last two sleds have have had both the adjustment packages, the yes <laughs> skis and the and the other one as well. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so it didn't work out like planned. I've got some I, I'm out of memory on my computer because people keep sending me freaking pictures every week. <laughs> <laughs> Good problem to have. No, keep keeps I know I'll keep sending them, so it's great. So but uh okay, so let's go through these here. And we got lots from Mike, so we're not I'm cutting you off, but I'm not cutting you off. So <laughs> lots of sharp sled, man. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But this isn't, the first one, there's no photo. So ignore the Rob, a.k.a. no one before me. Because there is someone, there is someone before him. And it's BKD694. You remember him from last week. He lives down the hill from Bobby. So he just said, he just said, I wanted to thank you guys for posting my pics and talking about my sled and truck. It made me feel kind of important, I guess you could say. 
I smiled the whole time and I just really appreciate it. I hope the next time you, will you do one with the subscribers that I'll be able to attend. Again, thank you. Love what you guys are doing and can't wait for the next video. I would like to get a Polaris mask from you when, I, when you get a chance. Thank you again. Can't say it enough. Isn't that awesome? Nice. Uh, right on. That's awesome. Warms the cockles of your heart. My wife is just telling me downstairs that no one cares. <laughs> you know? So listen, here, I'll put my wife's email up on the screen. You can all send her an email. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's too but funny. no, Yeah. Okay, so no one before me. He says, uh, hey, Gary, enjoy your show. Here are a couple pics of last season for you to share with the other viewers if you like. Both sleds are a 2019 ZR9000 I-Act, a 2019 Thundercat I-Act. Both sleds are hurricane-tuned. We, we enjoy sledding all over Ontario. Where's the snow? We go. And uh, he says, P.S. I have a ton of pics, scenic and hardware, if you want any more for your show. Yes, we want more for the show. So that's, that's obviously one of the Thundercats. That's, that's a awesome. cool uh, cool sled. That's a nice looking color. Yeah. Man, that was. That Look at the colors. So oh, this is Matt Warner. So I only got one picture from, from no one before me. So uh, Matt Warner, he, he says, hey, guys, I, I'm enjoying listening to your podcast. Another podcast listener. I uh, attached a couple po pictures of my new sled I just bought in September 2020. It's a Polaris XC800-137. Last week, Bobby and Rich were saying that Polaris needs to make a gas caddy, which I totally agree with. I found an option for Rotapack Rota yeah. X. I installed on the weekend, so I sent a few photos. Here's another option beside the link system. Great wow. idea. Nice. Yeah, that was good. Oh, okay. Look at that hardware. Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks good, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's nice. Cool. Yeah. Huh. How many liters is that? If you're in the chat, Matt, uh, let us know how many liters that thing holds. Yeah, I'd be curious to see. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's nice. pretty sweet, eh? Pretty sweet. So then... Yeah, um, it's finished nicely. <clears throat> do you know where the... Bobby, do you know where the Mackinac Bridge is? I don't know. It's not ringing any bells. It sounds U.S. to me. Yeah. But he said... Oh. Uh, he said, oh. that looks like one in Florida. You know, that might be in the, the UP, I think. I think that's where oh, I've seen that. Oh, could be. Yeah. Uh, here, here's a picture of our sleds in the, at the Mackinac Bridge and then us lined up on some of our vintage rides. Uh, and then he's he's wanting some LED lights too, which I've hooked him up with those as well. But uh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> some old boys. That. See that there? Exciter 440. Yeah. That looks like a Jag. That's a that's a Pantera or a Jag as well. There's actually three Arctic cats there. I don't know what that one is. I think they're all cats, except for the yeah, Yamaha. The Yamaha on the right, yeah. the gold and black Yamaha. Yeah, the, the, the Yamaha was probably waiting for them all to catch up. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know it. Uh, so Jeremy again, our number one stalker, Rich. Yeah. He's our number He's here's he sent a picture in. This is actually Mike is our buddy sent this in, Mike K. He said Jeremy and I golfing at, at Deerhurst and you see the ladies' tees at Deerhurst, they're painted blue and gold. Right? <laughs> so <laughs> and then and then uh, Jeremy said this is what he woke up to this morning, minus one degrees, bring on the cold weather. I was up in that neck of the woods on uh, on the weekend and they it snowed on Saturday slightly. So, yeah. oh, there's a picture from Cochrane, in Ontario, yeah. and they got tons of snow. I'll see if I can dig that up as well. Yeah, see, my cousin's up big... in Thunder Bay. They got some snow up there on Saturday. <clears throat> yeah, Thunder Bay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Duberville for sure. Okay, so Stephen Gates, and he said, uh, "My name's Stephen, and I wanted to let you know I love the new podcast. I could." Take take that twenty four seven sledhead, hey Rich. All right. Yeah, <laughs> this guy That's loves great. our new podcast. There you go. I buddy. couldn't help. I, <laughs> I couldn't help myself but to send out a few fan photos. I live in Michigan and love to ride with my dad and brother. Here's a couple of pictures from two different trips we did in Michigan's Lower Peninsula. Top. It's called Tip of the Mitt. Have you heard of that, Bobby? I have not. No. Tip of the Mitt. I, I'd like hmm. to go there just to just to. Uh, it's almost like Tug Hill. It just needs yeah. to say it, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The, so that, bridge, the that bridge, Gary, is up near uh, Sault Ste. Marie, up near the Upper Peninsula. There, Steve was just yeah. saying, ah, he chimed in there. Mac yeah, so, nice. So well, that's yeah. sweet. 
So uh, that's cool. No, that's that's good to know. I always like to know where the pictures are taken. So if you if we have Canada and USA viewers, so if you do don't mind when you send the pictures in, put in the state, province, city, yep. whatever it is where the bridge is, where the pictures are located. Because I mean, even even Rich and I might know, but but the other folks watching might not. So uh, the first the first picture he says is the. Uh, is it Stephen? Yeah, the first pictures are sled sagging next to the Mackinac Bridge. Oh, so that's him. I, I've got something mixed up here. No, that, there, there he go. is. Yeah, it's the just first the same bridge. Oh, wow. I wonder if they yeah. ran into each other when they were up there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Let's <be>. look closely. <laughs> There's those sleds right there. <laughs> you guys are conspiracy. It's a conspiracy against us here. That's um, the second picture is the U.S. Coast Guard. This one's cool. Uh, right there, look at that, eh? All the U.S. Coast Guard, Guard right? ice. Yeah, breaking ice in the Straits of the Mackinac. The sleds are a 2013 Skidoo GSX 600 E-Tech with 7,000 flawless miles, and a Polaris Rush 600, and a Polaris Adventure XLT 550 fan. Thought I would show you a small taste of Michigan. Love the videos. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I love that. When you can run into an icebreaker, that's that's a good sight, eh? That's so. Oh, that's cool. They're amazing, man, to watch, too. Oh, for sure. And then we got uh, Mike Eisenberg. He sent us a ton. So I'll <laughs> let him explain. He can he can start talking now. No, that's not mine. Go to the, the next one, maybe? Oh, Hope Fox. Hold on. Hope didn't send me anything. Uh, Hope, I think... I think the deal with Hope Fox is uh, is he just picked up the uh, this this new assault, and uh, there's a video that was in there, but I couldn't get it to load into this. But isn't That's that a nice? cool color combo, eh? Bob, the, 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 the red and lime squeeze in there like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah like the that high vis nice. yellow and the red. I really like that color. Kind yeah. of the opposite of that renegade that was the high vis with the red. Yeah, yeah. Last yeah. year, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, so Mike Eisenberg, he says, uh, hey, Gary, would love to get involved in some shop talk with you and Jesse on the show sometime. Very cool idea and love that you get the fans involved. You're also my neighbor. I was out there looking for you, but you di I didn't see you raking my leaves. So uh, my, new <laughs> my new sled is coming again from, from the dealer right down the road from me where I got my 18 XRS, which is down the street from me too. And the owner lives right behind me. I put together a slideshow of picks for you to showcase all the sleds I've had over the years, and we've had them all. One in there, two, two is of Jesse up on our annual Cochrane trip a few years ago, and he's still waiting for his patiently for his XRS 850 Renegade. Hopefully it comes soon. But here we go. This is the F7 that we talked about last week, and there's that ugly sled we were t I was trying to remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's funny, like, going through... Like going through this process, I was going back through all these old pictures and just looking at all the all the machines we've had over the years, and it was just pretty cool to see how everything sort of you know changed. But it also brought back some some really good memories, some good machines like that F7, probably probably the fastest sled I've had to date out of the box. Absolutely, ro like an absolute rocket. Everybody says that. Like, yeah. and, and I mean, it, it's no, no strangers to rode with one and it was, it was fast. Yeah. Yeah. Fast. fast. Yeah. They were good looking sleds too. Yeah, they the were. F1, and, or the the F1000 on the left was my dad's. That was a 2007. And, you know, also the twin spar, I'm sure a lot of guys would say as well, super, super comfortable sled to ride. They were fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just the ugly headlight design, right? <laughs> I just can't. Yeah, it was almost like an afterthought. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Hey, we we ran out of ideas to do that. Let's just uh, throw that on there. But, <laughs> yeah, Rich. It's like they built a sled and then went. That one engineer goes. Uh, do you think we should put lights on it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple of incandescent that's, lights. <laughs> that's what we forgot. Yeah. So. You can't complain about Skidoo. They don't have LED, but at least they put headlights on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this shot, Mike? Where's this shot, Mike? That one's actually uh, in Kinmount, uh, just off the uh, the rail trail in Kinmount. I love that. That's pretty cool. So is that the cottage you rented? Is that Jesse's room right <laughs> over here? 
<laughs> no. Your tech writer, tech writers in Kindle, there, right? So. Oh yeah, right on. Yeah, yeah. that's so it's a decrepit old building on the river, and he's got the two sleds parked out front. And and I take it this is you. Yeah, same thing. That was kind of the next one I went after the F seven got into uh, another F one thousand. Same thing, basically just a snow pro version. Also yeah. a lot of fun. Ran that for probably like five or six thousand k. It was a great machine. Wow. So is that a four stroke or a two stroke? No, that was a two stroke one thousand that they had. Nice. Shook That'd like crazy, but totally like amazing sled. A lot hmm. of power. Like a like a twin. Yep. Wow. Yeah, was, yeah, that that would have been two really huge, cool. massive jugs, man. They bought that thing yeah. must have shook like crazy. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. Yeah. super pretty. Cool. Pretty nice. The, yeah. the one behind there is when we made our first transition from two stroke to four stroke. So that's the uh, the Z1 behind it. Hey, non turbo. Nope. It's, uh, it was a uh, 1050. Okay. Nice. Sorry, nice. 11, that one was 1100. 1100. Bruce Stewart says it's the ugliest sled ever. And <laughs> Adventures This Way says all the true cat fans say the turbo was the fastest in the F chassis twin spar. And uh, and Daniel Foley, he says, yeah, I'm from Fenland, Fenland Falls. Kin Mount's a beautiful spot. And uh, Steve Jones says there's nothing wrong with massive jugs. <laughs> there you go, Rich. Steve, Steve, you have you have to set Rich straight, buddy. It, you know, he's he's got a lot to learn in in a, in a short time. Steve, uh, <laughs> Steve's your buddy, right, Rich? Oh yeah, yeah. I hope yeah. I hope he is. Uh, <laughs> Mister Snowman four twenty seven says he had a two thousand eight F one thousand. He loved his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen, Steve. Amen. Yeah, he's getting lots of props on that one. Here we'll go down to the next one. Yeah, you've got. I wondered what the story was because you sent me like a, a, like a really good catalog of skidoos. Like, look at this twelve hundred. That's nice. Yeah. It's an X X package. What is that? A 2011, 2012? That one 2010. was a twenty ten. Yeah, twenty ten. Nice the white side panels. Yeah. Love that. And then when, there they are in the garage. Oh, that's a newer cat right there. So then, yeah, after the uh, after the 1200, we got into the new, uh, my dad got the um, the ZR um, on the, which you see on the, the right. So yeah. that was the newer one at the time. That was when they came out with the 1050, the Yamaha engine. Yeah. Um, and we ran that for about four years. We actually just sold it to one of Jesse's uh, dad's buddies a couple of years ago. That's cool. Yeah, that's the first Genesis Yamacat. Yeah. Um, design, right? And that's a great handling sled. Like the, see the A arms on this thing? Look how flat they are. I love it. And that's the thing, do you'll notice over the years is just they're bringing theirs up and up and up. And it's like there's something to that that Yamaha and Cat have that, that just corners so, so flat. And I think it's because of those, uh, those, um, that whole suspension is up, you know, like the, the, uh, I'm drawing a blank on what they call those things that, that's attached. Spindles? Attached. Spindles. Are yeah, really, spindles. Really spindles. Really yeah, spindles. Yeah. This thing's gorgeous. This is a one of, a rare color combination, but every time I see one on the trails, because the hood had that little um, pattern to it, I go, yep. man, that's a good looking sled. Yeah. Hands down, my, my favorite color combo they put out to date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is cool. That is nice. Yeah, I didn't see too many, too many of them, though. You don't. You don't see them in that color scheme, Rich. And it's it's uh, when you see it in one in real, in, in person, you'll know what I mean when you see the hood. It's pretty sexy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. My fav I, th I think my favorite sled, uh, some, I just commented this to somebody, and I'm dead serious about it, is the, is the 2013 Renegade X package with black and yellow. Where the, it's the same thing, but the yellow X was on the bottom of the side panel right here where the black is. Mm -hmm. And that is a damn sexy sled. You know, that, that's still to date my favorite do made. So Jesse had one also, one of those as well. It had a ton and ton of miles on it. It went forever. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. Jesse's kind of my hero. He's got all the toys. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't yeah. know how lucky he is. This was all <laughs> This is kind of my first foray with uh, with Polaris, and uh, my only. 
but uh, it was a fun sled. We rode that for a couple of years. The Pro S. Yeah, uh, yeah, they were good sleds, man. They smoked a lot, but that's a good sled, the Pro S 600. Yeah. So, and this Renegade well, sexy too you got here. There, actually, there you go, Rich. You can kind of see the hood on that one. That's oh yeah, yeah, that is cool. Yeah, that's up. That's up in uh, Cochrane a couple years ago. That's cool. This guy here is he's parked on top of you. I don't know. <laughs> there, I like that one too. That's, that's cool nice looking as well. too. Mm-hmm. That's nice. The black with the gray graphics. That looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that one. And it's got Actually, the. Uh, yeah, just sold it last week. Yeah. What yeah. do you get for it, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Eleven five. Oh, nice. Good bu- Good bucks on that one then too. Yeah, I had yeah. about ninety two hundred k on it. Oh. Nice. There's our boy Jesse. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you do with your GoPro footage, Jess? Do you not there take you much, or are you? <laughs> what do you What do you do with your uh, GoPro was... footage, Jesse? Uh, I use it to make like I make videos for my trips, but I don't really doesn't have any audio to it. Like I put it to music because I just like make. Oh, okay, cool, music. cool. Yep. And then um, I don't know what's going on here, but hopefully people have finished their lunch. Jesus. <laughs> Mike, you so Jesse, go ahead. Jesse, Jesse's go, Jesse is going to med school, and it looks like he's practicing open heart surgery on the side of the trail here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a good story behind this one. You know, we do kind of a, a couple of annual trips. So this one was a four-day. We did um, from Elliott Lake to Sault Ste. Marie up to Wawa. And I had said before we did this trip, you're going to pack oil, make sure you throw it in a garbage bag before you dump it in the link bag. So yeah. sure enough, as we were coming into Wawa, I started to see some red stuff dripping out of the back of Jesse's machine. And sure enough, one of the uh, the oil containers exploded in his bag. Yeah. Everywhere. And this is, this is why I tell people never to put stuff in the bags, yeah. you know? Now and I it's like bag. if you're going on a four day trip, you have no choice but to carry oil when you have a piece. Oh, so, for sure, it's true, yeah. it's true. But I've smashed GoPros, I've smashed everything in the back of my bag. That it's, bag uh, took so long to clean because it was oil, it took forever to get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the it looks like blood, but it's actually mm-hmm. now that you mention it, it's oil. Oil, right? yeah. Yeah. Oh, Actually, that's yeah, disgusting. Oil, yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, I love. I yeah, I learned it. that a long time ago too. You duct tape everything too, right? Wrap yeah. using yeah. oils and duct yeah. tape and then bags. Yeah. Uh, Adventures with Way says the cats handle well, but can change with different snow conditions. The Paris do- Polaris doesn't bite as hard, but it's more predictable. What do you think about that, Bobby? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm trying to think if I've really experienced that. Um, I feel like honestly the riot while it has like a little bit of push is very like predictable where i mean but i i have, I have seen a pro skis on my polarises so i guess that kind of wrecks my my true opinion because those kind of make them darty like a, a do you know what i mean but i prefer that yeah. very precise handling but because they have so much bite if you do hit the snow in like a weird way they do bite hard and you can get some ski lift so um, I guess stock for stock, I could definitely see that though. The uh, the Polaris does a, a pretty good job of being predictable. Yeah, wow, that's wild. That's yeah. wild. Um, I just wanted to see if I could find a picture of Mike's. Uh... So, so Mike, I'm going to see if I can find a picture of this for you guys. I should be able to find it, but he bought. Uh, a 2014 Yamaha Viper LTX SE 137 and it's got a Yamaha MPI turbo kit that the the owner installed it's uh it's got a uh, Yamaha wrap kit heated visor plug DuPont sliders hand guards new fourth wheel kit new tri hub with exchangeable bearings new medium sport windshield front bumper tuner three skis Expandable tunnel bag, low windshield, all marked tur- turbo cutch clip with STM weights, uh, newer 2450 gear chain, newer backcountry 175 lug track, and 7,000 miles on the sled. 
no issues, very strong and reliable. This came up on a Facebook group and it's a guy that had done some wraps for on his sidewinders and did some graphics for a 900 Ace Turbo he bought. And this guy's sleds like are impeccable, like you could eat off them. And as soon as I seen it was from this seller, I, I tagged Mike in it and then next thing you know, Mike's asking me to go look at it for him. And this thing's a beast. Uh, oh, is this one you were talking about you just bought, Gary? Your yeah, this is the one that my buddy just bought. Um, nice. Yeah, and you know what? I didn't. I didn't get a chance to freaking put this over to the to the 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 videos yet. But uh, there I am. I shot him a video to walk around it and stuff. I'll do one up for you guys next week to see it. But it's yeah, got a fuel not. program, a cold air intake on it, uh, the fuel programmer on it. It's there's like this guy has has spared no change. It was yeah. his ex-wife's sled. I'm gonna sort of me and and uh, okay. see if it'll come through. I I know I don't have enough memory to to uh, to grab the. I know I don't have enough memory to actually show the the video. There we go. They're just so awesome. And there you go. It's that Genesis platform mm -hmm. as well, right? Oh yeah. They're both for me. But yeah, it's sexy. It's a beast. So he, he got that for eight grand. And it's uh like I said, it's what did it say? Seven thousand kilometers. So it's uh low miles for a four stroke for sure. And it's all Yamaha, like it's a Yamaha turbo kit and so it's reliability I think is still gonna be there. The only thing that oh, I heck, question man, might you can do you can do stage four on those Gary and they're still amazing and you'll get 320 horsepower out of them with a stage four and they're still yeah, reliable. Yeah. It's just mapping. That's all it is. It's all it's just programming. I yeah. I think it's 190 to 200 horse if I recall. It might be more. Um, yeah. That that thing's putting out. So it's winder fast, right? And it's got the 175 backcountry track on it. Um, yeah. If anyone in the chat's any experience with those, it's a pretty rigid track. It's not studded. But, uh, and that's the thing that we're just wondering about, should he get screw in studs or no studs or, or run 1.8 studs on it? Like, what do you guys think in the chat? You know? Yeah, that's a big so, lug track to have studs on. It is. They say it's really rigid too, so it bites in really good. Yeah. You know, but. Uh, it just depends yeah. on what kind of riding he'll be doing too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's mostly trail, but he's worried about that time when he, like, he lives up north. Um, he lives near Perry Sound, so he's worried that, you know, on ice that uh, that we'll, uh, we're going to run into some issue. So I'm, I take it we're getting some clicking. Yeah, some sort of... I muted myself. It? it doesn't seem... Yeah, I did me too. I don't know what it's... Yeah. It seemed to start, Gary, when you played that video. Oh, that could be, right? Oh, maybe it's my phone. Yeah, I think it might be your phone. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that up there. It, did it stop it? Yep. yep. It, must yep. Interfe it must have been like an interference with the phone or something. Yeah. Odd. Odd. So, yeah, so that's all I know, man. That's uh, that's good. Well, Mike, thanks for coming on. That's Appreciate cool. it. I love what you guys are doing. So, uh, Bobby, I've watched a ton of your videos, man. Awesome, all the reviews you do, so... Guys, keep it up. It's great for the flooding community. I love it. Nice yeah, that's cool. No, no. So, I really appreciate you watching. That means a lot. Yeah, Dakota was wondering the same thing. Oh, he's wondering about the background clicking. Oh, <laughs> um, oh uh, this is Fall No One. Did I send you the picture of the Joker? The Joker F6, the guy had sent me? Mm, Bobby? I don't think so. No. Yeah, I. He said, "Show show this to Bobby." And it was a link, um, and it was one of those Joker editions F sixes that you uh, that you have. Oh, we lost oh, another nice. one there. Huh. Yeah. So. Yeah. So um, Steve Jones says, "If it was me, I would use grip sc screw tips and not the studs." That's a good point, right? Yeah, he's he yeah, he's owned some Yamahas too before, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And Brian, this one's for you, Rich. You need more videos. <laughs> oh, well, that's going to happen this year. They're coming. Uh, oh, they're coming. Yeah, for so sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's got some good stuff coming up. That's for sure. Picking up the sled this Friday, so I'll be video putting that up within the next week. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, That'll so. be big. people. I'm sure are itching for a little Matrix content, so they'll be yeah, excited to see that. Yeah, nice yeah oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. There hasn't been too many delivered that that you see online. That's for sure. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. They're starting to come in now. I guess. Uh, I guess everybody's are starting to to roll on in. I've seen the uh, yeah. Yamaha get delivered as well. Nice. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah so. I saw a dealer up, uh, I think it was like Sudbury, North Bay, and there was a ton of SRXs on, on board coming in. So It's so they, interesting. They can still sell Yamahas up there, but they can't sell Artie Cats. What are you saying? No. That? It's, it's, yeah. it's so, it's, that's, that's a weird lawsuit, man. It really is. Yeah. yeah. I can't yeah. figure that one out. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I there was, there was a topic on YouTube about it, so I kind of looked at all because somebody was saying how how much different could you possibly make a chassis, all that, and I was I was like, you know what, I'm curious. So I threw together the Rev XP, the Pro Cross, and then uh, the Axis chassis. It is pretty crazy to see how similar the Pro Cross looks to the Rev XP, like where yeah. where it mounts to the tunnel and all that stuff. It looks a lot like the Rev XP, whereas the the Axis, like the pyramid mounts to the front of the tunnel. There's like some side bracing. So definitely some differences yeah well that's the thing they they when when the original rev came out it was a pretty it was a pretty good copy of the frame when you see the sleds naked and yeah. I, I get skidoo like you're trying to protect your assets there that was third that was a, a, a total dramatic change in the industry and and to Absolutely. get it get it copied like that but but what doesn't make sense is that Yamaha is still based on that and I mean, maybe it's tweaked enough that they can't touch it, right? But we really need them. We really need Arctic Cat, as you can see in the fan photos. There's a lot of them, so yeah. it's it's been a good respective brand in the in the industry, and they oh, built sure. solid sleds. You know, they, you know, so. But uh, we all yeah. build solid sleds. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any more today with the technology? You're, that's the truth, right? So, yeah. I mean, it's all about service and. And how you maintain it yourself. The the manufacturers have gone to that step where they've they've given you something good. How you treat it and maintain it, you're on your own, right? So mm -hmm. yeah. Bobby, did he get his new sled? Still, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna if I don't hear anything by the end of the week, get a hold of the dealer and figure out what's going on. Just because you know October's almost over at this point, so I want to at least figure yeah. out if it's built and then I can go from there. Yeah, Jeremy was wondering about studs or screw that. Or the screws myself any thoughts i'd check on your older machine the condition of that track before you do anything with it because yep. if you put studs in it you're adding weight and you you might blow it apart honestly i'd leave it because you're planning on getting rid of it in a year i'd leave it and and just run it for another year the way it is and yeah. and then put that money into something else because that's a that could really shorten your season yeah. if if the tr if the track is less than five years old then you could, uh, what is it, a 121, you could put in like 96 studs um, yeah. or even a few less, even like 70 some odd studs, like do two yeah. every other window. Um, but I wouldn't go too crazy. It's probably only an inch track on that. So I don't know. I, that'd be my concern is is the age of that sled. I uh, you're, you're just asking for one to fly through a heat exchanger. Ask Mike yeah. K about it, he'll tell you. <laughs> They'll tell you how fun that is. Yeah, yeah leaves are stranded wherever you are. Yeah, so when you see the green blood on the snow, you know it's not a good thing. Coda Bear says his sled, sled shipped. Um, you know, nice. so we already went through that there. Yeah, so. Yeah, Noble Shit says studs are good for safety, braking in particular, more so than any for any other reason, and that's true, you know. Oh, yeah. It's it's yep. confidence in breaking because you want to be able to stop. So, yeah, Mike Ellis had a backcountry track and he loved it. Yeah, I, I've like what I've researched on it. It uh, it um, it sounds like it's going to work well for him. That's for sure. Yeah, it seems like the people that have the backcountry tracks love them. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brian Dobson says he loves the, the video showing the split screen with the sled boat. That was cool. I'm glad yeah. to say that, Brian, I because I, I almost didn't put that out. I, 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 I had it on the, 
on the on Final Cut Pro and it was half ass edited and I just I was like should I put it out and I was thinking no it's kind of crappy and and then it was like you know what I I think Rich talked me into it I think Rich just goes you got to put another video out buddy and and I just went I just hit okay it's uh, it's uploading now and uh, glad I did because I I actually a lot of comments on that one too so but uh, yeah someone's asking me what video Gary's video yeah so yeah, it's 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 neat. So I'm glad you like that. I should I'll do more. We did one. There's one if you go way back in my channel where we did on Mary Lake. We did the the lake crossing past uh, that, that that rock cut, and I like that one. It turned out really well. So, but uh, I think the the thing that makes the new one so good is that Drew is in it passing the boat, right? So it's uh, it's kind of cool. So yeah. Uh, Steve Jones says he uses grip, eye grip screwing tips, and then when you get rid of the sled, you can take them out and reuse them for your next sled. Yeah, but again, if the track rubber's no good and they're going to throw those, those, then what's the point? You know. Sure. So, I don't know. That's my two cents. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So, what what other videos you guys got working on? Rich is going to do one of his uh, of his delivery. Bobby, you got anything in the hopper? Um, whenever I get my sled, there will, will of course be a delivery video, but, uh, I have a video when I, uh, cleaned out the trailer so that we could sell it. I took our sleds out and Josh came and picked up his sled. And then at the end of the season, I had the riot on full narrow because we were supposed to get a bunch of deep snow that we didn't end up getting. Um, so I moved it back to wide. It's just kind of a little thrown together vlog. I haven't decided if I'm going to post it, but it's all edited and stuff. So that's cool. Yeah. I think I, I think I would I think I would I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, it, it could be worth it, especially if I if the sled gets too delayed. I'm sure I'll post yeah. it. Kind of put something up. Uh, last week, Coda Bear, I think it was, was asking how the Ski Do Backcountry adjustable ski widths go. Have yeah. you seen that? How that works? It's actually yeah. a link. It's actually a clip, yeah. like a yeah. link clip. It's like click, yeah. slide it in, click down, and yeah. you're narrow. That's awesome. Yeah, gotta Isn't give it to the well? they always have the best adjustment stuff. They're always leading the market on that. Yeah, yeah their accessories are top notch. I'm telling you, man. Absolutely. I'm telling you. So it's definitely better than having to take the bolt out every time and move it, and try not to drop the bushing and all that stuff, like it is on most other sleds. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I've got a I've got a new series coming out on my channel. It's called the Frugal Doer. Aye, it's a Frugal Doer. And uh, I, <laughs> the frugal doer, the frugal skidoer, because uh, I I look at you guys with all your fancy climb gear and your you know <laughs> your FXR gear and and I go to like I go to the bargain bin to get my stuff and I've got a skidoo jacket and a and a skidoo pants and a tech vest I bought on Kijiji and there's nothing wrong with buying used absolutely stuff. Nothing. Yeah. So, well, whatever the, the first, that's all that matters. The it's first rough. episode, the first episode of the Frugal Doer, is uh, is outfitting my trailer with traction products, and I I take Caliber products that you, it's six hundred dollars brand new for, yep. if you go on their website, and I do it for like four hundred and change. Um, so I've. I've got that, and I've, I'm almost done editing. I was hoping to finish it uh, last night, but I didn't get done it. So it'll be good. So that'll be the thing: is the frugal doer is going to be like for for all the people like Jeremy. I think it will appreciate it, and uh, and everyone else that's just kind of doing it on a on love, hope, and a shoestring, you know. So <laughs> you know, but uh, I'm not going without. That's for sure, right? But yeah. it's uh, it's kind of neat because you watch. A lot of guys and they're they're pushing all the brand new stuff on you and and uh well here i'm going to show you how you have fun with with old stuff like my oxygen helmet was used uh our bv2s's were both used my modular uh my modular was new but i bought it at a at a at a at the sled show and i think the one before that was bought from the from a skidoo dealer open house so yeah so I almost think sometimes that can provide more content, you know, use sleds, use gear, like trying to find that deal, show off a product. And, uh, I mean, 
not that hopefully this ever happens to you, but when people have reliability issues with older sleds, like I know on Six's channel, he's had some clutch problems. Oh, I don't really lot, have yeah. any problems because my sleds are new. You know what I mean? So that's a whole type of content that I never have. And it's, it's yeah. rap. You know, it gives you a good thumbnail, good title. So, you know, it's, it's a yeah. total different type of thing. Yeah. Well, sure. actually, the, I, 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 right? So it's, it's, it's good, Gary. It's, you got good content. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. I, one of my one of my more watched videos is just changing the NGK uh, spark plug ends on the yeah. on my old 670, right? And it's like, like uh, you, you don't think anybody's going to get any value of it, but there's a uh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> Jumpman J24 says his jocks used. <laughs> Another awesome channel that does stuff like that is uh, my old sled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true, true. Yeah, it's I mean, a, it's he was another. S chassis, S two thousand chassis before we went up to <laughs> Beaver Tail, right? So yeah, yeah but still, yeah. You know what? it's interesting, man. You know what? I was saying this before to Gary when we first started the first episode. You know, I even like watching those channels because it's it has something to do with sledding, and it doesn't matter if they're twenty years old, twenty five years old, ten years old, fifteen years old. It's exactly. still it's awesome. It's and it's good information to share with everybody. So yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, and, and Bruce says oxygen helmet's expensive, but it's absolutely the sickest helmet out there. Not the coolest open face, but it, if you give one a try, you'll uh, you're more than likely not going back. And I it, agree with that. It, it's true. It's a warm, warm helmet. It's uh, it's really good. So um, I uh, I want to try the mission. That I won't lie to you. Um, not myself want to try it, but Drew wants to try the mission. So uh, that might be. The next helmet unless an oxygen comes up used you know and then and then we'll see what happens so they're on back order uh, right now i'm still waiting for mine to come in they're on back yeah, order until november i think late november yeah oh is that right yeah. 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 So i'm looking forward to just to seeing the difference between the titan and the mission because i originally was going to get the mission last year but i i just i tried it on at the show and i just i found the mission for me at the time with it fit too tight and i found that yeah. the uh the titan Fit, fit me better but i was like i was hell-bent on trying out the mission so let's i'll make a video on that too see how that works out yeah. the, so. the titan's a good looking helmet i like the titan it, you yeah. know what it's and it's it's right behind me there and it, it's been an awesome helmet and i love the heated goggles that thing never let me down in the in the most bitterless cold winter weather the one in northern quebec that that, that helmet was amazing man no leaks no air leaks it was it was good, and I like the vision out of it. Like just to see the sight, the sight lines on it. It's, it's, it's yeah. really good. It's a good helmet. Yeah, for sure. Coda Bear sent me some photos, so let's see if he's got oh. them here. I'm gonna see if he wants to come on too. It's just uh, yeah, he was sitting in the room there. Yeah, bring him on. He's a good guy. Was he? He, he wasn't. Was with... He wasn't yeah, in he the was... waiting room, was he? No, oh, no, sorry, he's in the chat room. Just in the That's chat. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Dakota, I'm gonna send you. Uh, I'm gonna send you a link here, buddy. Let's get you on. Just you guys keep chatting. So, so uh, how many trips have you got planned this year, Jess? Uh, right now, hopefully, I'm planning to go to Gas Bay in February for seven days. That's uh, my big trip. That I've been I've been trying to do it for four years, and every year people drop out, and then it doesn't happen. So, this year I have a feeling it's going to happen. And then besides that, I'll be in Cochrane in December, and then we'll see. Wherever there's snow, I'm going to go. In the province, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. We finally uh, pulled the trigger to me and a couple of buddies to hopefully head up to Maine this year and get some some legal off trail riding in, ideally. So that'll be fun. Plus, uh, yeah, with the new trailer, we can actually go to different states. So. <laughs> <laughs> and not yeah, that's, good. that's good. Yeah, that's good. So. We had a couple people uh, asking about heated goggles. I ran the uh, the FXR Core E heated goggle. They worked pretty good, but part of the the side of the goggle kind of broke, so where it plugs in doesn't work so great anymore. But somebody else was talking about 509. They seem to have a pretty good setup. Yeah, that's right. The yeah. 509 Sinister Ignite goggles. He says it stops a problem. So yeah, yeah. I'd come yeah, on if you want it, boys. I, I ended up getting the uh, the clear ones, too. I ended up buying the, the yellow set halfway through last season. Yeah. But just because I was finding during the day in the sun, it did make a difference on the on the lakes. 
Oh yeah, cut, cutting down on the glare. So yeah, sure. I used up the yellow ones for the rest of half the season going into the spring. So the first time I wore yellow goggles, it was nighttime, like getting oh. towards nighttime, and. I was like, why does every sled I'm seeing today have a yellow headlight cover? I couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, oh, my God, I have yellow goggles on. What am I talking about? Uh, that's awesome. That's good, Bobby. Yeah. That's, good, Bobby. yeah. yeah. that's funny. The, uh, um, I heard about a guy that, uh, that got some fake uh, OFSC passes a few years ago. And uh, I think they were using like a, like a high-vis yellow or green color it was a lime green or high vis yellow mm -hmm. and the the things like like you said they were legit like you couldn't tell the only thing they didn't have was like the uh the the sheen like the chromium effect to them uh, yeah and i guess the only deal is when you wore uh like yellow goggles that cancel out the color so if you've seen a real pass to the old one it was like night and day like oh i can't believe God. the guy didn't get busted because anybody with a with a amber shield could have just busted his ass you know yeah oh yeah well that that material is tamper proof only certain printers can get it it leaves yeah. the word void when you pull yeah. it up oh, yeah. like like, like yeah. it's it's if you look closely you could slightly kiss cut in the in the material and yeah. uh, anything in the mto has that for that exact reason yeah yeah, well, I, I was—I don't know if you were on Jesse before, but I used to print them for the OFSC for years. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're yeah, you, you got to order them in and limited thing, and you get a specific uh, allotment and comes with the yeah. serial number. And I did a bunch of stuff for Toyota and BMW too for their vehicles because when you try pulling it off, it leaves the void, 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 right? Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Smart, perfect. Yeah, that's cool. Rich, what sled are you getting? What was the reason? uh going away from your assault oh no reason i just uh when i, I went to the new uh, matrix uh layout um loved my assault um i actually had a hard time whether i was going to go into a first year sled but it's i mean it's not a new chassis it's just like some ergonomics and, and some you know updated suspension and whatnot but everyone i spoke to because uh, i spoke to nuns for for quite quite some time before snow checking and, and he answered a lot and he said they're you know, and everyone that's written them said that they handle really well. So we'll we'll find out, see the difference. So that's why I, I up changed and went to the uh, Matrix Assault. That's so cool. We'll see. Yeah, looking forward to it. Should be fun. That's so I, uh, I got. Hey, there's there's uh there's Coda. How's it there going, he brother? Is. What's up, guys? Hey, hey. Good buddy. How's it going, man? Oh, we're hanging in there, you know. You didn't need to shave by. for us tonight. You didn't need to shave for us tonight. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> it's, it's gonna keep it warm you know during uh sled season yeah, yeah. you got it you got it so it's gonna keep it warm, you know? oh you've got your uh, sound on there bud um i'm just gonna go to a share screen here because we got another picture come in uh this is actually from e turbo one and he oh, says nice uh, 20 he says this, back, is that a summit or a backcountry xrs it's a backcountry xrs he, he says, I love your YouTube videos. Keep up the great work, Art. He says, his first ski do. Beauty. I That's love a, that color combo. That's yeah. just, it? oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, that is that nice. exact awesome. same color in the expert package summit, I believe. Yeah. 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 And here we got another one here. Um, oh. I like how Skidoo does that on the expert. It'll be similar to what's on the backcountry. It kind of gives it a cool look and makes it uniform, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to layer these right on top of each other. Actually, again, this is a good way to do it. The huge advantage of Polaris, the fact that when you buy a sled now, you can customize the color and you have way more options compared to Skidoo in terms of color. Yeah. This, this, year, was, this year, though, this, this year, year was, not was only, no, it was, it was actually, <laughs> it was, it, that was another huge part. But I mean, then I started thinking, well, you know, I could technically wrap the sled. Yeah. Like I just I seen a wicket done. I can't remember what account it was on. Well, it was probably climb, but I, I don't think it was. It was someone else's sled. But there was a wicked climb wrap. I don't know if you any of you guys seen it, and, and it was like ooh, that. it's like ooh, I may do that to my sled. It, it, I love that. It's similar to this what Gary's got on there. That black and and that uh, high vis fluorescent color is yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's sick, man. It's wild, and they ain't that that layout. Anyways, you guys seen it too. It, it, it was a really sick looking uh, wrap. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. thinking about doing wraps this year for sure too. Wraps yeah. are fun. Yeah, maybe mid season. I, 
I, I have all the Skidoo templates for wrap, but I don't have any Polaris. I could buy them, but you have to be serious about getting me to do it. I don't need any practice. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. I've had people go, yeah, I want to I want to wrap for my Viper or whatever, Yamaha Sidewinder, and you buy the freaking template for 75 bucks, and then they go, oh, I changed out. my mind. Yeah, yeah. Back out last so it's yeah, like, it's, yeah. You know, I, we got the I vehicle promote, temp template through work. For yeah, and, and I don't, and I don't that promote stuff. that I do wraps on sleds that much because you never get your money out of it. You spend like, like you're you're 16 hours oh, yeah. start to finish. You know, you know what, Gary? You and I are in the business, and I'll just go yeah. to to uh, to that those two companies are Ar- was it Arctic FX and and whatever the other yeah. one is. Because yeah. the material is yeah. even different. 3M gives you a special material where you can't mess it up. That's it's a thicker S- material. Yeah, we, I, yeah, we use a 3M. We use a 3M material, but and the thing with my Rev XP wraps is, you ever see the SCS? There's a gap between the 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 prints, so you always see hood color yeah. on the yeah. side panels. My side panels all overlap, so they're they're perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, so uh, just going back to this this sled on the screen here is Jack Lon Lads. Uh, um, sled powder coated rails walker evans clickers and a quick drive belt system no chain case a bikeman performance durability kit with wasner pistons a bikeman head bikeman clutching new v-force reeds ggb can has bros Kamali lower a arms and z bros uh one well i gotta move this over one piece billet upper a arms has a z bros bumper and skid plate Fly next level windshield bag, burn it under seat bag, and uh, and reverse electric start. It also has cable ice scratches. She's a well cared for machine. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's a lot. So, that's everything you can get, basically. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. With the kitchen sink at that. Yeah. No, I know. I know. I, I love that. You know. So. Yeah. The. Actually, uh, you know, I never I picked up my uh, ice scratchers. It's a pretty big box and pretty heavy. I never bothered to open them up. I was I should have opened them up. I'll open up this weekend. Like, bring my the, up the, sk- the Skidoo ice scratchers are great because you can reverse with them on, right? The yes. ones that mount yeah. to the upper idler wheels, they're great. Yeah. So. Well, we want to see because the rails completely changed on the Polaris. Um, so I want to see if i got to buy a special bracket or not for it to mount because I don't want to be screwing holes through my my rails and i think i might i think i may be able to get away with it oh so, right on right on yeah so yeah, bobby so. i saw in chat it says something uh, 410 notch where in maine you thinking did i miss something were you saying you were thinking about going to maine yeah me and a couple uh buddies booked a hotel room so far that's all we've really planned it's uh we're <laughs> gonna try wrangley Okay, yeah. Rangley is one of those places. There's a lot of snow most of the yeah. time. Yeah. It's a little more north, though, isn't it? It's pretty north. Um, I think it's actually – you said you went to Jackman? Yeah, yeah. I think it's still south of Jackman, actually. Oh, is it? Is yeah. It? I couldn't remember they're, if it was north or south. They're within riding distance, someone told me. So, I mean, probably similar, but I think Jackman is still north. Yeah. That's good. That's cool. Yeah, you're going to have fun up there. Yeah, I just excited to try somewhere else, you know. If and it's if everything works, you get the right snow and all that stuff. But yeah. just glad to kind of take that first step to try somewhere new. Yeah. Is that gonna be just sure. you, or is that gonna be your dad and everyone too? Uh, right now, it's Josh and my buddy Kevin bought a uh, a Renegade, a twenty thirteen Renegade eight hundred E Tech, mm-hmm. and uh, he's coming too. So that's, just that's make all. sure. If you guys do plan on like trying to go off trail or go on some old seasonal roads or logging the trails, make sure one of you at least has extra fuel because there's oh, okay. like no place up there. There's it's few and far in between for gas stations. Huh. Good to know. So especially like if there's like a train run, uh, we were gonna do the train run and we never did because like my sled, I was getting like 80 miles to a tank, and you need to do like a hundred miles between gas station to gas station if you're gonna make the train run. Oh wow. Hmm. Good tip. Definitely going to keep that in mind. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I didn't realize too, Gary. I think we were talking about using the, the ride command app, the Polaris uh-huh. one. And I didn't yeah. realize through the through the uh, website, I clicked on all my rides, and it actually pulled up a little video thing. I know you had it on your videos where it shows yeah. you we're going through. I thought, holy crap, that's cool. So Yeah, yeah it's that, that's uh, the thing. Yeah, the, the, the really nice graphically looking one that's yeah. uh that's rever 
And then yeah. I found out Ride Command does it, and it's just as good. Like, yeah, it was pretty I'd cool. I didn't realize it. Ride I didn't realize it did that, so it was pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's like Ride Command's on. awesome. So, yeah, um, yeah. I just got to step away for a minute, boys. Keep the show going, okay? Yeah, when did you uh, think about going up there, like date wise? Um, I think it's it's I think the beginning of February. Yeah, it's probably early February. Best time. Yeah, we just wanted to make it either the end of January or early February. Try to guarantee snow as best we could. Yeah, that's it's gonna be real, real cold. Uh, beginning of February up there. I went yeah. the end of February, and this year obviously wasn't as cold. Yeah, I mean, obviously with all the rain and up and down and everything. But my buddies went up there the end of January, and it was like negative thirty degrees, like yeah. every day. like like the highs were like negative five. Yeah. Definitely gonna need a lot of gear. Yeah. <laughs> gear, fuel. Yeah. I was so in Jesse- uh, Cochran in December three years ago. The first time I was ever there it was negative forty two with the wind Ooh. chill. Jesus. You were fully suited right. before you even walked out of the hotel. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were in we were in Timmins uh, probably about 15, no twenty years ago, fifteen years ago. And that's where Toyota and Honda and all of them have their cold test facilities. Yeah. And we were heading out, and it was minus forty-eight. And, oh, the, and the Japanese guys—they were from Japan. They looked at us like, "Are you crazy? We're not even going to go out in that." It's like, "Oh yeah, yeah. we're going." And it was oh, funny. We yeah. back and we stopped for coffee at uh, Smooth Rock Falls. We, we went into a little thing to warm up. Yeah. It was it was cold, man. And I was like, my buddy's like, "Hey, look at your look at look, look at your neck." And where, where, because where my balaclava was in the moisture, my zipper was touching, and I literally got uh, 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 frostbite right there. And it it, it was like frozen salt. So every year, if it gets cold, it it flares up because once you fry it, it's it's, once you get frostbite, it is. Yeah, right here, right here, this whole patch, yeah, right here, (laughs) it's just completely frozen all the time. Like we're talking thick, you know, like an inch (laughs) thick of ice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Adding some new people, it looks like. Have, uh, have any of you guys seen the uh, new 7-inch display yet? Uh, I think I, I, I didn't see it powered up, but I saw it on like a VR1 in person. Yeah. Yeah, I um I went to Quebec because I forgot to take pictures. I went there the other day, actually, uh, Saturday. And they had a VR one on the floor, the 137, yeah. and the 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 screen is amazing. I can't wait to make a video on it. Like everything just looks crisp. I mean, you have you can turn the temperature on the handlebars. They finally got hand warmers that hopefully are going to be good. Like Heck yeah, not be yeah, super thermostat, low, super high. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking I'm looking forward to those too. The best that that's probably one of the best things that Polaris did with that was having a thermostat on that. Which is because well, they're also, hand warmers. You were you were either cold or you were roasting. Yeah, like, there was and then, no like, the gauge. Like you have you have your battery, you have your temperature, and then like you have like a big tack, and then you have or a big like mile per hour, and then you also have like a tack, and it's really cool. Like it's like almost like a car, you know, it goes up and everything like a car. Yeah, but I can't wait to actually get my sled and and actually make a video. I'm probably gonna make a video just strictly on. You know, the new Sweet. ride command, the new everything, the new gauge, like it's yeah. new handlebars. The storage yeah. is awesome too. There's so much room in there now. Oh, yeah. That's that's one thing. Pro batteries and everything. Yeah. That's the thing. Polaris never had any storage, man. It's mm-hmm. like kudos to them stepping yeah, up the, the one, game. The one downfall is the the storage I don't like, I think there's gonna be a problem with is the storage under the seat. There's no seal, so like when you pop the seat up, there's no gasket seal. Yeah. So I'm nervous yeah. that any backcountry riding anything like that, you're gonna get snow, dust, and everything kicked up in there, and it's gonna just collect and just melt and get water in there. So I don't know yeah. how that's gonna be. I, maybe get some like uh, I don't know some like thick weather, weather stripping and like put it around the border, yeah. like, like double sided tape. If I'm, not mis- how it works first. if I'm not mistaken, they sell a bag code. If that's that's, I, I think Steve was showing me. I'm pretty sure. Maybe you can chime in there. They make it. They're making a bag to go in there. Oh, oh in it. But but again, like you said, like throw some some double sided foam tape around or something to seal it mm-hmm. off. But maybe yeah. that'd be something that they'll they'll. I mean, now there's enough like storage in the front, though. You could pretty much yeah. like you could put a map, GoPro batteries, your phone. Yeah everything yep. right up in there and it'll keep it warm dry like because the heat will come right up underneath so it'll be like yep. 80 degrees 
Yeah. That's that awesome. glove box is uh, the size of like the Skidoo one when you actually add the extension on. So it's amazing that it comes with that yeah. story from factory. Yeah. 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 Steve, Steve was just saying they make a waterproof bag uh, for the seat there, Coda. Gosh, yeah. 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 it's, it. it's in the it's, it's in the accessory catalog currently. So. Yeah. Took a page out of Dude's book. Yeah, Dude yeah. always is famous for putting the liners out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I shouldn't say, eh? That's very Canadian. <laughs> right? That's okay. Don't you change that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's for sure. That's cool. Yeah, we lost Jumpman J24. Yeah. We got to see what he looks like, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Short period. <laughs> yeah. I think he was having audio problems. I wonder if he was listening with the delay because that messes yeah. you up, right? Yeah. So. yeah, I have to close out and just stay on this and open up on my phone. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you can so, detach the chat. Coda, did you? I don't know if you were on or you heard, but did, so did you get your your notification of your yeah uh, just today? Shipping? Okay, yeah, 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 because yeah. 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 no. yeah, I got it now. Oh, look at Coda's hat, Rich. Oh, oh yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, I got it. Of course, I got it in the background. Yeah, you had to be yeah. one of the yeah. OG oh. A fifty Patriot people yeah. to get those. That's right. Yeah. Rich, Rich has got the towel, right? You've got yeah, the I got towel, the towel. Right? I got the the metal plate. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. nice. I don't know what we're getting this year. I I think it's pretty much nada. <laughs> yeah, I guess we haven't gotten anything yet. Like I love that 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 five hundred dollar Visa card was awesome, and and like for you guys. It didn't really matter, but up here, Bobby, here I, I, I yeah. went through three quarters of it right on. I went through three nice. quarters of uh, of my season there, using it for gas because it, it was American. The dollar went way. It was like oh seven hundred and fifty bucks. That's awesome. Yeah. I, uh, so I actually went to, when I went to my dealer <clears throat> Saturday. I asked him because I still hadn't received a code, and I think actually my sled will be in this week because um, okay. he told me that he looked up the VIN numbers that was on the truck coming, and my sled was actually coming. So he didn't yeah. know why I hadn't got an email yet. Yeah. Well, we were just That's saying, that, uh, Steve got his email, and he, so my buddy Steve's got a VR1 coming, and his, it, his email said it was shipped on the 6th, Yeah. and mine was shipped on the 10th, and mine arrived at my dealer last Friday. So I'm. I'm oh, you already got yours? Friday. Well, I'm picking it up this Friday. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. picking mine up too. I'm jealous. Yeah, I, so uh, I'll be making a video. I'll be making a video this week, and then hopefully... I haven't heard, but I'm thinking, and I hope maybe Steve gets a call this week and he can pick it up because I want to do a video on my, on the Assault Matrix, and then I'm going to do the VR1 as well. Gotcha. Oh, good so, idea. And then grass drag them. And grass <laughs> drag them. <laughs> or water cross them. I, uh, I, know, I know you're feeling real daring. And make I'm sure you say that the first... I should have brought my GoPro and everything with me when I went to the dealer. I didn't know they had a VR1 on the floor, already built everything. I could have done like a VR1 and I was like kicking myself, you know, and then I forgot to take pictures when I left. And I was like halfway gone, like halfway home. I was like, man, I suck at this. I should have taken pictures. You know, it's okay. funny when you do, like, I was telling Bobby last year, I showed up to get my assault. You know, I didn't even bring my camera. I didn't bring my phone. I was just so excited to go get it. Yeah. And then I hopped a thing. I'm like, you moron. You should have, it should have ended up video. So I, yeah. I'll make sure I, uh, I document this one for sure. Yeah. That's I don't know awesome. when I'm going to be able to pick mine up, though, because uh, I got to get a new truck before I can go pick it up. My trailer's full of stuff because I had moved recently, so I got to put stuff in storage. I got to get a truck so I can get the sleds and everything. I got a lot to do, and it's like, oh, boy, it's getting to that time. We got It's crunch time, baby. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Just make sure, guys, when you're doing your Polaris, uh, your Polaris um, introduction videos, Make sure you make sure that it says the front end handles like a skidoo. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Because, I mean, Jesse did it for you guys, so it's time no, to pay no, him what, back. What you got to say is the rear suspension. Yeah, exactly. Is there you go. Go. Like it's, is like, as good as the skidoo. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's is, to be determined. Jesse, do you have a channel? I didn't, I didn't know if you do it or not. No, I don't, actually. <laughs> no, he's, it's, it's called Mud Brats TV. Yeah. That's what yeah. Jesse's channel's called. So, yeah, I, I just don't have the time. I'm like so busy. Yeah, I hear don't, you. Start, yeah. don't start. Don't yeah. start because it's addictive, and then you end up getting your wife yelling at you that no one cares about your videos. <laughs> oh my god, all the time, all the time. It's like, what are you in there until midnight for? Uh, Gary, I think yeah. we're going to have to give you some therapy, bud. Hey? Oh no, I know. Yeah, uh, no, we're, I'm I'm posting her email on the screen. You guys can all email her direct. That's you know, hilarious. No, there you go. Leave alone. No rich picks. <laughs> No, no Richard picks. No, Dick picks. 
Right? Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay, send her a few. Send her a few of those. (laughs) Jesus. I think she's forgot what it looks like. Uh, (laughs) New Age in Landscaping, the Wrangley Inn, we're looking at doing some cabins and couldn't justify the cost for our small group. Yeah. Must be a nice place. Well, I heard today the... the, uh, the two leaders are talking, saying maybe the borders will open up November twenty first, but I, I doubt yeah, that. I think they're just. I, I think. I think. I think they're just, you know, wish wishful thinking. Because yeah. I mean, the way things are going, like I mean, I was up with my install today, and it was in York Region, and that was a new region they added to shutting down again. Yeah. Right. Because they're so yeah. starting to get more and more out, right? So it's starting to expand it. So I, don't, I can't the whole see that. GTA happening. will probably be shut down this week. That's my prediction. The other the other areas in the GTA, the numbers are really high too, and it's, it's going to happen for sure. Yeah, we can't we can't get uh, we can't get out of this thing, you know. So make yeah. progress, go back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah, for sure, right? Yeah, yeah so. that's good. Well, we're getting yeah, close it, to crunch time here with the snow and everything, and everyone yeah. picking up stuff, and uh, it'll be good, boys. It's uh, starting to starting to pick up. Yeah. And uh, and Rev Bobby just pointed out we have seventy three people watching. It's an all time high really? for us. So thanks, guys. One That's hour awesome. in, awesome. one hour and ten minutes into it, and seventy five. We just went up two. That's crazy. Christ. Unbelievable. Yeah. Very good, so, boys. Thanks yeah. for tuning yeah. in, everybody. It's awesome. yeah for sure. Yeah. And again, if if you got anything to send, I guess I had an issue um, with my memory limit on my email. So people have been trying to send me pictures. And I've been crying because I haven't gotten any, and then uh, they've been bouncing. So if I, anyone I just, isn't watching or isn't subscribed, subscribe to Rev Rider. He's pushing that six k. Yeah, you're like yeah, one nice. away from six k. He's away there for like nine months now. So <laughs> I hear you. I'm looking at like twenty eight hundred yeah. for the nine months also. Yeah, once yeah, like so. starts, it usually goes up, but in that off season, it just crawls. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I don't true. get it or anything. Like during the off season, you have nothing to do, and all you want to do is think about snowmobiling. I feel like more people would watch. It's you would know right about now. Right about now is when everyone starts watching again. You know, a month yeah. before sled season, month and a half, and everyone YouTube, starts getting back into it. YouTube hides us through the summer. It really does. Like it's, we'd love to put more content out over the summer months, but they just don't support it. So yeah. it's like It'll you push throw videos. a video and it hurts you. Yeah. See, and I and I'm weird because I'm watching sled videos throughout the summer. <laughs> so it's yeah. like I, well, I Google go through it. It's like it's like all right, you know what? I'm going to go back to Bobby's channel and start over again from the beginning or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, like I need to watch some. But, yeah. Yeah. Now, Gary, I don't know. Yeah. Did I miss it? Did you uh, put out um, the pictures I sent you yet? I was getting stuff ready. I might have missed it. No, and you know what? I think it might have been the memory limit thing. It was just see. Uh, Might have not sent because I know it tried to send and it didn't work. And then, holy, someone just sent me some sexy, sexy photos. <laughs> what are you? Are you the one that says me? Toy uh, Elite Four by Four? No, this is another guy. No, I didn't get yours. I think it's because I, I'm having a, a memory. I had a memory issue, but they come through now if you resend them. Let me see. Says sent, but I don't know. Just click on them again and resend them. But in the meantime, I want to show you guys this. Here. This guy's a photographer, I think. This is from. Uh, it's just from me, Toy Y Elite Four by Four. I'm gonna try it right now. Let's Check that it. sucker out. Oh, Not a good picture. Look at that neon. Cool, yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. What the heck is University just sent. Looks like he's over a bridge or something. Full send University's in the chat. Uh, I think he's gonna come in. Hold on. Let me just see. I'll get him to come in. The full send boys. They've been working hard. They're almost so, actually to a thousand subscribers themselves. That's awesome. Yeah. I thought they were bigger than that. No, they they started out. They when we started riding them, they only had like twenty subscribers. But they're just a cool <laughs> group of guys, you know, and they, they started putting out some stuff recently that's pretty good, and they're going from there. Yep. Yeah, the more yeah, content that comes out is awesome, man. That's good. Let's see what I can find out here. 
Look at that photo, eh? Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. Awesome. Well, that's, that's Bobby's color sled there, right? That's, I like that. Yeah. That's cool. That's a nice one. Look at all the LEDs up front. Apparently, that person really likes that. to see. That's <laughs> nuts. The big, tall windshield, too. Cool. Uh, that's the one I just put up. That's wild. He says, uh, let me see if he's got a story here. Uh, no, no story. I like it when you guys send me the, the story to the photos, you know? He actually is pretty um, active on Hardcore Sledder. He has a whole build thread on this sled on there. And um, oh, I no used way. a little trick to do um, a sway bar quick disconnect. And uh, you just kind of use like a C-clip and like a certain size and it just fits through the sway bar it's a super cool little hack and it costs you like four bucks and you have a, a sway bar disconnect so that's he's a cool, cool guy right at night all oh, the time jeremy just got his classic jeremy just got his classic permit today too here we go here. <laughs> right on yeah <clears throat> Nice. Look at that. This is full. Oh, that's sick. Oh, uh, you recognize yeah, that that's sled in there, Bobby. Rick, that's the, Bobby. That's the full, full send, uh, guys. That's all oh, that's it is. Bobby and those guys are up right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that video. Yeah. Look at that. that I'm going to steal that one as a background for next week's show. You know? Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. So, there speaking about uh, classic permits, what's the reasoning behind why it's continually 99 and below and it doesn't change as the years go on <laughs> yeah i don't know why that is i'm not always sure why like oh i thought it did so it doesn't fall so just missed it <laughs> that's weird yeah, that that's XRS, a, that's a ten thousand miles on it nice wow. nice hey they don't make them like that anymore they that's got a money's worth of it yeah. oh wait we got i think that's what he sent me is a, no this isn't that that's a polaris yeah. Hey guys, gotta love hey, man, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. Hey, no problem. problem. Anytime, buddy. Uh, this super is, cool. Uh, super excited. Rich will, Rich will like this. Oh, there's your SXR. Yeah. 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 That's a 600 triple, right? Yeah, it's a 600 yep. triple. Yeah. That's a yeah. sweet machine. The sexiest sounding machines, eh? <laughs> uh, they, were good. they were good. Single. Nothing pipe. like a triple. Yeah. Oh, my buddy still buddy. dries one. Look at that. That's some deep snow. Yeah, yeah this that is, is cool. uh That's again from me. Oh, I thought that was a Dakota picture. Here we go. Here, here's Dakotas. No. Dakota bear right here. Come on. Come on. Okay, it's Dakota <laughs> bear. It. Just. You can do it. These are the, these are the virus ones, I guess. Eh? Mm. The virus ones. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look at that dude there. A lot yeah, of the dudes free ride, there. The free ride uh, was really sick. I liked his free ride that he had that year. This is up in Maine. Uh, we were on Lake Parlin. Was the free ride yeah. a 146 or a 137? 137. 137, nice. Yeah, that blue with that green was cool. That Articac green with it on it. That's, I yeah. like that. that was, that's a cool color combo. For sure. I liked it. So, so Jumpman, do you end up uh, getting a new sled or? Yeah, so um, I guess what happened was with the emails, I guess I'm sending too large of files at a time possibly because I sent a few videos through. Okay. Yeah, videos don't send very good. No. Okay, so I'm assuming you, uh, that I, I jammed up Gary's email. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, and that's probably why I got the memory problem on that. But it, okay. if you want, what I'll do is I'll send you an email after the show. of a, a use. A, you can use WeTransfer. And you can yeah, send okay. me those video links, and then I, I'll put okay. them on next week for you. Buddy. So this is cool. So that's like. Uh, so prepared. you had my slide up on screen at one point, actually, the new one. And when you're reading a bunch of details about like the Zebros and the GGB exhaust and the clutching and all that, yeah, that was yeah, my yeah. old Pro Armor K, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and I sent you pictures of that as well. So I sent you like the before and the after, like all within a week of uh, of what if what has happened with my sled light. Yeah. So it's been a pretty crazy yes. roller coaster this last week or two. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Nice. nice. Yeah. So this is Maine up there, and like this is, I just love it. Like when we're up there, and it's like you can just see everything, like back. It's just, it's just amazing. And you can ride down in, and there's like shoots and stuff, and you can hit and stuff and go up. And it's really nice. That's cool. cool. It looks a lot like northern Quebec, actually, like close to where I am. Yeah, really? It does. Yeah. Beautiful. 
You're in Quebec. Oh, what color is your sled this yeah. year? What color did you go with? Uh, uh, so it's. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I didn't know what he. I thought he said me, but you might have said you. Yeah, no, no, I said you, Coder, but I was just saying, what was your. Uh, what color sled did you go with this year? Are you not saying until you? Uh, it's black. There's nothing good right now. Nice. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking yeah, about yeah. wrapping it, so I'd rather go black. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Black, yeah. That's good. I think that's, that's a bit of a buddy. giveaway there, there, Coda. Yeah, my buddy's uh, <laughs> uh, he has a 120, and they just kept burying it. Like I wheeled across like this little hole, and he just <laughs> sent it right into the hole. That took a little while to dig out. I bet that's awesome. That's awesome. And that up is there, that, is that, that a road all season? Is that a one twenty or one twenty nine in that hole? That's a one twenty, a little baby one twenty. Just buried. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! We we unburied the one twenties. There was two of them that were the one twenties. We would go ahead of them, and it was like three four feet of snow, and we'd try to pack down the trail, and they would just anytime they even got off a little bit, they would just bury themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. But it was a fun time for sure. Yeah, for sure. What do we got? Yeah, here? my my 120 would get buried whenever I went off. <laughs> not <laughs> not hard. So Bobby, that's just, that's a little bit to to see in Maine if you go up that way. That's a little bit of a, a taste for you. Awesome. Here's more. This is more Maine. This is from 410 Notch. Watching the live feed. My 20 my 20 rye up in northern Maine. Adam from Connecticut. Very cool. That's nice. Yeah, it's a that's great cool. shot. That's that's nice color. Color. Yeah. That actually it's looks so great cool with the too. black windshield. Well, and the, yeah. and the subtle, look at the, the blue spindle and then the rail at the back. The tip, like, yeah, I cool. like the blue yeah. rail at the back. That's very cool. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's real nice. I, I like it with the black windshield. Like it, the, the blue seems to have a little bit more meaning. You know what I mean? If that yeah. makes sense yeah. to you guys. Instead of the blue windshield. Instead of the lime ones. Like they have lime decals on them, but the panel itself looks like it's actually black. Yeah, yeah. it is. It totally does, right? Uh, that's cool, yeah, pretty cool. I love that. It's, that's a gorgeous sled. So that's awesome. Yeah, you gotta love that. It's the, the colors got are awesome, some great man. fan mail this week. That's awesome. Oh man, it's just it's now now that you've unjammed my 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 email, uh, <laughs> jump man, <laughs> and, <laughs> and they're all coming in. <laughs> we got a nineteen ZR eight thousand RR with twenty dollar eBay underglow LEDs. Not sure about the LEDs, cool or no? What do you guys think? Oh, it's pretty cool yeah. to me. I yeah, like it. Cool. First hard what? pack snow bank you go over though, you're probably gonna shear them right off the bottom. But <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know how practical they are in the position, but yeah, they're cool for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? It's not for me, but I mean, you don't do stuff for what other people think. You do it because you like it. It's the same with wraps. Exactly. exactly. I see a lot yeah, of wraps. That, I see a lot of wraps that make me want to throw up, and and you know <laughs> what? As long as you like it, that's fine. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. like. The uh, don't. It's the same as buying a sled. Don't buy one because you someone else likes it. Yeah. Buy it because yeah. you yeah. like it. You know. Yeah. This I'm isn't. This isn't a. This isn't a fashion show. <laughs> you know. So it's true, right, Rich? Rich is oh, yeah. laughing. Yeah. yeah. Well, soon we'll start seeing them like Easy Riders. Eh? They'll start going. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's right. Look at the on it. Plate. I didn't even see that. That's cool. Yeah, that's oh, cool, wow, man. Where's yeah, that? Is that Saskatchewan? That doesn't say Saskatchewan, does it? No. I think it does. Look pretty flat. Could be. Does it say Saskatchewan? Or am I just not? No, maybe not. I think I it does. Know. It looks like it, it almost does. does. It almost it does, does look like it's Saskatchewan. Yeah. That's hilarious. I think it does. Yeah, yeah that's not Saskatchewan, snow. though. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does say Saskatchewan. I think. I bet that's really cool. I bet you. Uh, I bet you that is Saskatchewan. Some nice deep snow on the lake, though. Yeah, it's like flat, it's flat, flat as flat. anything. And, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, make sure you send where. Uh, make sure you send uh, where these pictures are from. He says. Uh, he says. Yeah. Yep. Here's That's another northern cool. main shot. Here we go. This is a good looking crew here. Oh, dude. Nice. That's some oh, nice yeah. terrain. Yeah. Some nice, nice iron some there. Kitties, too. some kitties, and what? All kitties, one skidoo. Yeah. yeah, about about seventy grand worth of worth of metal sitting right there. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not cheap. Sorry if in the U.S. there's thirty grand worth of metal sitting right there, boys. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what do we got here? We got a ZR 
what is that, 8,000 Snow Pro? And then we got a Summit X, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like a 2020. And then we've got a Team Arctic, that's an RR, would it be? Yeah, it's a 7,000. Right? Yeah, 7,000 RR. We got a Riot, that's riot. that same Riot. Yeah. yeah. And then we, we got another ZR. Nice. With the variation in sleds, you go from mountain sled to race replica trail sled. Yeah. Yeah, true. But you it's know what? They're all, you can do both up there and it's awesome. Absolutely. They're all smiling ear to ear the whole time. I guarantee you that. Yep. Uh, Rich, oh, I sent Mark Bo a Blizzard a, a Blizzard five hundred uh, for five hundred bucks, a nineteen eighty four. Oh no uh, way! That's not yeah, that's not too. I said you need to buy this, bud. So you have two blizzards. Look at the treetops, right? That's what that picture is of. Oh, this is cool. See a lot of that in Quebec. Guys, guys, thank you so much. These are some golden pictures. Yeah, that's pretty that cool. Is, that. That's awesome. That's right there. Okay. It's like 3,000 feet elevation. It's, yeah. it's pretty pretty cool up there. We went up there also, and he's on like a, they have like this big metal tower thing you can get on, and you can literally 360 degree look around, and it's, it's, it's awesome. But to get the, like the drag a- and everything, they have to sometimes unhook the drag up top to turn the tucker around and then rehook the drag again. Yep. Yeah. That's that wild. Is cool. It's so sketchy. This, this it's is like actually this is a this is actually a point that they're on. Like it's actually a, a peak. Uh yeah, it's the top. So it's it's Corborn Mountain is what it's called. And you go up one side and it's just super, super, super thick pine and it's just one trail all the way up top and it's like you go from like 1,000 feet to 3,000 feet really quickly and you can just see all the way around that's awesome that's pretty neat yeah, that is nice. you, you gotta love those views man look at that like you I can think tell that's from that's the top a... also yeah yeah he's got some good pictures here that is nice yeah, that's cool. Four, the guy said it's 4K in elevation. Uh, oh, is that right? He's in the chat? That's great, right? That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think on my, when I checked it on my elevation thing, it said 3,800. That's why I said it was in that range. But if it's 4K, that's even better. Yeah. yeah. So, jump man, was that your uh, lime and red sled that there was a picture uh, of? No, no I mean, it, it is the lime squeeze, though, actually. Uh, I was going to say to Gary, uh, my email is actually underrated uh, since 1989. I don't know. Maybe you can find those. I sent a whole <laughs> whack of them to you. I don't know. Underrated. underrated. Yeah, underrated <laughs> since 89. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. John Long. It says John yeah. Long Lad. Yeah. yeah. No, I only got two emails from you. Uh, the powder coated rails description. And, uh, okay. and that one picture I showed you. So send them again so, next week and we'll get them up. Okay, well, that, I'll send that you. pull the one picture up for, for the crew then, I guess. That's probably the one that we're looking to see anyway. That's the new one. Yeah, that one there I already showed. Just hold on. Where did you go? Uh, I'm sure Bobby will appreciate the color. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. the one we already showed. Um Chat. Yeah, this one here we already showed. That one, right? Uh, this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 So that was when it was actually uh, brand new, like when the guy first bought it. And since then, uh, there's been lots of upgrades done. So it has the uh, LED lights in the front, it has a Polaris bag uh, phone charger on the handlebars. It has a, uh, a 1.6 uh, studded Cobra track just put on. Uh, it's a great sled. It's got 2,500 miles, and I picked it up for 11. Awesome. Nice. That's nice. That's a nice color combo, man. That's sweet. Yeah, it's Beautiful. pretty sweet, eh? Yeah. So, and it's still got yeah. a year of um, of the warranty left. So I figure what I'm going to do is ride it for the season and then uh, snow check next year. Awesome. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Can't go Actually, wrong I got to get, uh, get rid of my black mid um, axis uh windshield I, I noticed it when i went back to the trailer there this weekend it was sitting in my trailer i'm like oh yeah i still have that not there that i you know i have to get rid of it yeah, oh that's wicked that. look at that sunset 
Beauty. That's, nice. that's gorgeous. And he's got the Shoot. double bag on his assault for from Skidoo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. thing I, that's like the first thing I see to the thing. You know, yeah. I, I'm sitting there thinking, if I'm a Polaris executive and I'm seeing this all the time, I'd be sitting down mm -hmm. going, "Hey guys, oh, look at all the money lost, all the loss. We gotta be pick, We we gotta pick up the game. Like, like I get it. They've improved a lot on some of the bags, but some of the stuff is like stupid expensive. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I like, think I know what it is, but I'm not sure fully. The reason why they're not doing like the gas can and all that stuff is it's a uh, insurance problems or something. Because like uh, Can Am on four wheelers, you could put they have the two up seats that you literally rock and lock and ride, mm -hmm. and you can buy from Can Am. And Polaris won't do it because of insurance reasons or whatever. So I think that's kind of the same way, and that's why they're lacking. And I, it just irritates. Well, okay, me. so so and the gas can, okay, code. I'll, I'll give them that. But the bags, yeah. man, they're they oh, yeah, the yeah. ball and all that. Like it's, like I mean, I don't know. It's just, like I said, I looked at the, I think it was the Brandt bag or whatever, and it was like four hundred and some odd dollars. Yeah. And and like, don't get me wrong, it looks nice and it was sweet, but I'm like, or I could go buy the link the link bracket adapter like that I bought from yeah, yeah. iTech Industries, and then I got the bag for two hundred bucks. Like, you know. So that's have why you guys I ever seen? It. Have you ever seen that? This is Yamaha's powder keg. <laughs> it's a, it's actually a fuel a dry box and a fuel keg in one. Isn't that wow. cool? And it goes on like a link. It snaps in. There's oh, a bracket. Cool. Oh, sorry. That is cool. Where are we here? There's the bracket that goes on your tunnel. Isn't that wild? So what is it for? It's for this is for the Yamaha. It's the um, it's a fuel cell and a uh, a fuel tank Ooh. and a dry storage. Huh. That's, cool. That's what Mike's gonna put on his. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So That's good. I, I wonder I wonder if we should have a theme for next week for photos. Um, if you can send us your best stock photos. <laughs> good idea. Yeah. That's what do you think? Good ones. Yeah. Including you, Rich I have some and sweet and ones Bobby. with some big Actually, old trail you know, you want to know something? I'm not just saying this, but I never got stuck last year. I'm not. I'm, I, I didn't go off a lot, so like, I'm gonna say you're not trying hard enough. If you don't, no. Get stuck well, that's exactly ones. it. I mean, that's. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely you're... get stuck this year, so I'll make make a make a uh, make sure I go off off All right, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a, a one definitely for next week about that. Uh, literally going up the side of a mountain going down like this and then i tried to get back over and the whole sled just tipped right on top of me i couldn't get it nice. off or anything the guys had to come over so <laughs> that's all. yeah oh we've all been there we've all been there so Luckily, send us your best with you. send us send us all your photos but if you have a best stuck photo then put in the subject line best stuck photo and send it to fanphoto mudbrats.com but also give us a story tell us where it is when it is, why it happened, maybe you had to break because Rich stopped in front of you and you had to go and <laughs> and you and you dug your in deep, you know, like yeah, so do that, you know. And awesome uh idea. And and send that and let's let's do a theme on this and then we'll change the theme up for the next week. I'll let uh Rich or Bobby pick the theme the next week and then away we go. So Sounds good um, man. Yeah. Yeah. So and then we'll figure out what's going on. I'll get my memory issue straightened out and and we'll be rocking like you wouldn't believe so no, that's but, good. Uh, yeah yeah so but we've been an hour and a half boys you want to you want to call her a night or what do you think yeah yeah cool to wrap her up sounds good sounds yeah. good to wrap her up so, boys right on yeah, thanks for I having me on boys hey anytime show man yeah. that's great i was gonna say before we go we were talking about goggles uh if i had known about electric goggles i would have ordered a pair but i ordered these the other day it's the uh the revolver from 509 nice. oh, those are sick. Sick. they those have the sick. uh the photo here, I'm make big here. Lens. There we go. Here, I'll pop them nice. on. Nice. Oh, sweet, man. That looks good. <laughs> yeah, those are nice, man. Yeah. So I'm excited cool. to try those out for sure. Heck yeah. Congrats. Yeah. That's COVID sweet. protection right there for your eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, what do we say, Gary? You got to get some shirts made up. Two stroke kills COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be cool. I was thinking that when I heard you say that before. That's awesome. Yeah. I just want to yeah. say before I go, guys, um, hundred percent. Like in the emails, I, I said I said that I really appreciate the help and the feedback and just the channel in general. I've been scrolling through and and watching all the previous episodes of this podcast, and it's just amazing. Uh, some of the guests you guys have been able to have on, and some of the convos and 
and just the uh, the um, genuine the genuine quality of, of the information is amazing. So that's, that's cool. awesome, man. Nice we love hearing that, awesome. man. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Exactly. And then Coda, uh, I really appreciate your channel, man. I appreciate uh, everything you talk about and and your content. And then Rev Rider, man, I've I've probably watched all your videos by now. If not, maybe five or six. I'm missing, man. Oh so, man, I really appreciate that's cool. that. That's awesome. Yeah, appreciate it's it, cool. buddy. Awesome. Right, say I, I I don't even watch Rev Rider anymore. Who's that guy? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. I love I love him. He's, that's why he's here. He's my favorite. You know. Some good stuff. Oh, man. So. But actually, you know what? In saying that, like next next week we've got uh, um, it, he might have was he he almost came on this week, but it's that guy that's doing the Iron Dog, that's from awesome. the U.S. That's and awesome. uh, yeah, so he said he said he's going to give us some time next week and tell us about his journey so far and and the plans are. So that'll be pretty neat. I'll get him to send some pics of his sleds and stuff. So yeah, so he's pretty excited. So we'll get her going. I you know we originally started this and we're thinking that we need to get you know suppliers on, but. Our biggest show to date was just shooting around, sitting around shooting the BS, you know, Absolutely. beers and snowmobiles. So, paid yeah. enthusiasm. Yeah, the yeah. only BS you need is beers and snowmobiles, not <laughs> together, not 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 at the same time. You have the beers no. after snowmobiling. There, yeah. <laughs> so, not on the trail, but uh, but no, yeah, not good. on the trail. Don't don't be that guy, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. but uh, you know what? I'm gonna roll the credits. So uh, everyone in the chat here just stick around uh there's two more videos that we think that you'll enjoy watching click on those links um because when you do it helps us buy snowmobile parts and we have lots of snowmobiles and they need parts boys so <laughs> thank <laughs> thanks so much that. for watching guys again uh this is our ninth episode next week is a milestone <laughs> for us right guys we're doing oh, yeah. number 10 oh yeah and uh and it's just it seems to be getting better and it's all because of the fans uh nothing else right so yep. um yeah let's run this okay guys sure. thanks again right, Coda. jesse no thanks again for coming yeah. on really appreciate it rich you're awesome as usual and bobby love you so <laughs> we will uh, we'll, we'll see you next week or uh can't wait to see your video coming out rich on the yeah on the yeah I'll, release I'll, of get the it up, uh, so. I'll work on it and get her up as soon as i can that'll be good. good guys okay cheers Cheers, boys. All right, boys. See you later.